Okay, so we're going to take a quick little look at the GNOME 2 fork called Mate, right? And, um, you know, I'm really happy that there's a, a project like this, you know, for people like me who, who pretty much, you know, use GNOME 2 on a regular basis. I like GNOME 3, and I do like Unity, but GNOME 2 at the moment is like where I, I kind of need to be. So if they can make this project kind of sustain, you know, the GNOME 2 environment for a few years, you know, I'll be happy, you know, I'll be great. But anyways, um... There's this tutorial online, it's in Italian, um, but, you know, basically you're just copying and pasting commands. If you want to try this, go ahead. I do recommend doing this in a virtual machine or a test machine, not on your main rig. Um, you know, it's really up to you if you want to do it or not. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to install this because it's, it's kind of buggy at the moment. I really don't recommend doing this. But anyways, so here I am on my virtual machine, and we're going to go ahead and just log out and log into Mate. All right, log out. Okay, mate. And there's your GNOME 2 panel, but now I believe it's called the mate panel. So it's pretty much GNOME 2, just a lot of stuff has been renamed. So let's go ahead and right-click on this, About Panels, and you can see it says the Mate Panel, right? Right-click, Add the Panel, and just like before, same old thing, you know, like Menu. There you go, put the Main Menu or the Custom Menu for the three items. There we go. And maybe, uh, I think, the Notification area for your Network Manager and whatnot. And let's try Clock. There we go. There's your old clock. And maybe a logout. There we go. Right on. Oops. Alright. Go ahead and close that off and close. So it's pretty much the same thing, right? You can still, you know, highlight and right click. You know, change your background. Just like the old way of doing it. You know what I mean? Your fonts and your themes. Right? If you want like uh like this, I guess. See if that changes. There it goes. All right. And themes, um, because it's GTK2 and GTK3, like all the modern themes are not going to really mix with this just yet, right? So one thing I notice if you go to your places and go to your home folder, it's Natalis 3, you know, 3 point whatever it is, right? And if you go to your desktop icon, it's Natalis 2, right? So you know, if you let me go here about it's not really called Natalis anymore, it's called Kaja, I guess. And you'd still have your you know, your same old um well your places, applications, you know, your games and it's the same it's all the default, you know, items that should be in your uh default Ubuntu install should show up here as well. Right. Well except for Chromium I added that. file browser. Well, that's a little bit different. And it doesn't have the Ubuntu Software Center at the bottom, but you can always, you know, edit your menus like before. Well, at least I think you can. Well, I guess not. Huh. I guess it hasn't been ported over just yet. Where is the... Here's the Ubuntu Software Center. So you can see how <clears throat> the GTK3 stuff kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, right? The themes don't really look right. You know, I mean, compared to like this right here. Close that off. Right. So hopefully, um, you know, all this stuff will get worked out in the long run. And, you know, you're probably better off just waiting for Mint to do it. Because I believe Mint's going to have a, a GNOME 3 variant and a GNOME 2 Mate variant. variant. And you know the, how the Mint guys do it. They do a really good job at their with their distributions. Right, so... You know, I'm really happy about this project, and I hope they they uh, succeed. If you need a an absolute like a uh, uh, ready to go like GNOME 2 environment, you can always you can still use Lucid, uh, the that other uh, the the previous LTS or Fuduntu, I believe it's called. That's another uh, that's it's a Fedora distro, but um, I've been using it on a on a secondary hard drive of mine, and that works very very well. That's a good little distro too. So there's there's always some options out there for you guys. So anyways. See you guys later.